Hello, my lovelies. So, uh, today is a ramble. It's a mishmash. It's whatever. Um, I hope you've been enjoying. I don't know what we're doing this week. Um, hopefully tonight I will be able to get my webcam fixed because, uh, David finally has a little bit of time for me. Ha <laughs> ha! So, but if he can't get it fixed, we'll go back to regularly scheduled programming next week. Um, I just, I don't know. This has kind of been, I don't feel like doing anything, but I'll go ahead and put out videos week. So, uh, today's hair is actually Siobhan's latest, uh, tutorial she put up. I'm going to link to her because, you know, I'm just gonna, because you guys are going to ask me how I did it. And I'm not telling you, Siobhan can tell you in a much shorter video than I ever give you. Um, yeah, I did I did change uh, two things, though. Um, I think she did four or five of these little braids. I only managed three. Um, I tried to do the one on the bottom, but it was looking wretched. So I just I just did three. And uh, I ended up braiding them all the way down. And then when I incorporated them into the braid, I just braided the braids in. Now, I will say this. Oh, I've got hair all stuck to it. Um, I will say this. Uh, I like her version better. I was just experimenting. Two random hairs. Let go. Um, I was experimenting just to see how it would look. And it looks cool, but hers hers was better. I liked, I liked hers better. So the next time I do this hairstyle, I will just do it exactly the way she did it. Um, but, um, and I did pin this over here, but my hair is being weird today. And it just keeps doing this thing. So uh, I'm going to unpin this and just my bangs have been going over in this direction all week. So I think they'll be okay. Um, just left to their own devices, as it were. Um, yeah, that way I get a little more swoopage. Swoopage, that's a technical term. Um, but yeah, this is the first time I've ever been able to do uh, micro braids on myself that... Um, actually are going in the right direction. And right now, my handful of black girls are laughing at me and my severe lack of cornrow skills. Girls, feel free to laugh. I am a total white girl. I cannot cornrow. Um, but this is as close as it's gotten to like real ones. Like my sections are fairly evenly spaced and they started they, they started in the right direction. Every time um, I have, I have never been able to get them even remotely parallel to one another. Um, I'm just, not on myself. I've done them on other people, not real cornrows. Come on. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even going to front. Uh, but little Dutch braids I have done on other people. Um, and got them straight, of course, but on myself, never. Um, but Siobhan's technique really worked well. Um, and it was pretty easy to pick up and I'm not going to tell you what it is because you need to go watch your video. Um, but yeah, um, I really like this, but it feels very fierce. Um, I tried it out because I was planning on, uh, wearing it on Saturday. I'm going to a, uh, charity fundraiser for one of my friends. He has cancer. Um, well, he has cancer that came back kind of thing. It's pretty bad. And um, his church is trying to raise some money for his family, which is cool. So I'm going and I was going to wear this hair, but I think this hair is too fierce for me, at least for this event. Like I feel very fierce and it's not really a, I don't know. I don't have anything that matches this hairstyle either. <laughs> You guys know, I am one of those people that, um, well, some of you know, some of you may not know. I kind of, when I, when I get dressed, I kind of think of my clothing um, options as a costume, like when I leave the house and I am out in the world. Um, I put together a whole look, uh, makeup, hair, nails, accessories, outfit, shoes. The whole deal is one package and everything goes with the other, at least in my head. Um, 
Like if I decide I want to wear my hair one way, I have an outfit that goes with that particular hairstyle. Or um, just like just like you guys have certain purses that you always wear with certain outfits. I have hair that I always wear with certain outfits. And some days I dress according to how I want to wear my hair. And then like this, I know I'm going to wear a long sleeve gray swing dress um, and probably my scarf. Um, and I will probably wear my hair in a half up uh, just because around the house I wear it up so often that when I go out, um, I like to wear it down. Uh, why have all this hair if you never ever get to wear it down? So um, I'm probably either going to do braid waves or rag curls or something um, and do a half up uh, and then wear my gray dress. But I thought, well, this is kind of a half up. Let me try to, no, this does not match that dress. This is way too fierce. Like I feel like a warrior. Um, like a lot of her Viking hairstyles that she's, she's done. Um, yeah. So it's cool though. Maybe, maybe I'll get a cool dress this summer that this will match. Um, and then I can wear it more often, but I'm so psyched that my, my little micro braids are actually like mostly going in the right direction. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. Hey, even though I know how to do lots of things with my hair, there are still things that befuddle me. Um, it is just the way of things. Uh, I am not good at everything. Um, actually, I'm not good at quite a few things. Uh, I just try to tend to stick to the stuff I'm really good at. Um, and then I practice the stuff that I'm not. Although sometimes when practicing stuff that I'm not good at, I give up because I get too frustrated and it just makes me angry. And I'm like, nope, I'm not going to do that one. That's not my bag. I'm, I'm done messing around trying to make this stupid thing work. Um, and that's okay. You don't have to be good at everything. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's just, it, it, that was your, your kind of ramble today. I was excited about trying new hair. Um, I did pretty makeup because, oh, I'm brilliant. Uh, since this is one of those, yeah, listen to me. I'm brilliant. Since this is one of those hairstyles where everything was going to be off this year, but all my hair would be on this year. I took the earrings and since I have double piercings, I wore them both on one side. Like there's no earrings on the other side because you can't see them and they would just get tangled in my hair. Um, but that way I got extra dangles. I'm a genius, clearly. <laughs> or weirdo, weirdo, genius. It's all hand in hand. Um, any hoodles though. Uh, there's my super fierce hair today, which is totally not fierce when you tuck it behind your ear. Torn. Fierce. So any hoodles, yeah. I'll let you guys go. Just a short little one today. Um, I know what I want to do for tomorrow, but I don't know if my editing software, my editing skills will be up to par for it. Uh, I want to try something and it's not going to turn out like I want it to. I, I mean, I already know that that is not going to happen. I have visions in my head and I can't do any of them, but uh, I want to try and at least do something somewhat similar um, to the visions in my head. Um, it's going to be something sort of silly, but that's okay. Um, we like silly here at Torn Inc. Okay, uh, under 10 minutes a day because I love you. Ha ha. All right. I love you guys. Have a great day. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.